Hi, it's Steve Wiggett for Steve and Julia Wiggett of Royal LePage Trial and Realty here in London, Ontario. We get you moving. So today's uh, video blog is directed at first time buyers. And first of all, uh, great idea. Real estate is a fabulous investment and uh, it's an exciting process uh, to go through. And you just want to be prepared. And what I mean by that is uh, if, what you should do is sit down with a professional realtor, maybe interview a, a couple of realtors because you have to have a good rapport going and, uh, with your realtor and make sure they're listening to you and they're easy to talk to and they're going to represent your best interests. But the best thing to do really is to start a list and the list is the would be nice what you need in your house and the other side of it is must-haves. So uh, must-haves might be three bedrooms, two bathrooms, would be nice, uh, could be a fireplace or a garage, something, something along those lines. But that just kind of uh, clears things up a little bit in your mind of what you're looking for. And the next thing you can do is do the same thing with neighborhoods. And we all know location, 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 so you wanna uh, make sure you're gonna be looking in a, in a good location and a good thing to ask your realtor is uh, if I call you, if I buy this house and I call you in five years, is it going to be uh, an easy listing to resell? And that's a good question. And of course, we there's no crystal ball in uh, seeing what's going to happen in five years. But typically, if you buy in a good area, good schools, good neighborhood, uh, then it's going to be uh, least easier to sell than it would have been in, uh, in another area that's maybe not as good. Now another thing in terms of being prepared, get pre-approved and sit down with the lender, go over closing costs, uh, various uh, options available to you, go in with your eyes open as to what uh, the financial uh, obligations will be. And of course, uh, the financing folks will give you a, uh, a limit on what you can spend. But don't go to that limit because that's typically, uh, then you're going to be living for your house. You're going to want to buy uh, maybe uh, new carpeting or refinish the floors or do some painting or go on a holiday once in a while. So don't live for your house. So just be cautious in the amount that you're going to spend. And uh, yeah, get out there and look at houses. Uh, get out there with your realtor. Even if you go through the front door and you think, hey, this house uh, is just not going to work for us. Have a look, have a quick look through the property and uh, just sort of observe because uh, all the information you gather about uh, houses when you're viewing them will help you when you do find the house that is right for you. And it'll be easier for you to uh, get that good feeling and say, hey, I wanna put an offer in on, on this house. If you've had uh, you know, a lot of viewings of, of properties, whether you like them or not. So be prepared, do your homework and work with a professional realtor. Have a great day.